All right, so this is the first unit of three units, let's say. Um, and I'm gonna walk into this one first, but then we have two units across the hall that each have two queens in them. So not all of these bedrooms are connected to this unit, all right? So somehow the owner, I don't know how it was sold, but um, they have acquired those units over there and they're selling it all together as a bundle. Because um, I'll have to look and see what these two bedrooms, uh, this unit itself, it were just on its own, um, would comprise of. So super cute unit. Um, really like what they've done to it. Uh, we've got a kitchen over here. It's not huge, but it definitely gets the job done. And that's all been replaced. And you've got a full-size refrigerator that only opens to here, but it seems to be, I think it works pretty well. Um, so let me give you a view from here. So here there's probably two feet square. Um, so actually I want to make sure that you can open the oven and you can. I was going to say that might be a problem. All right. So then let's go. I've seen a lot of remodels on this. This is an owner's closet here. Or actually, no, I've seen people put an owner's closet here. This is structural, but I've seen them take this stone off and I've got pictures, you know, if you guys wanted to proceed and had interest in this unit um, of what other people have done to this. So, you know, they've got this nice, you know, solid uh, tile floor. Looks like slate. And um, this does face the ski area. Let me come out here and show you the patio. I think they're going to probably be reciting all of this at some point. Not sure when but there is the morning view. So this is a south facing unit of Baldy and that's the ski area right there in front. And uh, then you've got these big views of the ski area here as well. So you get sun all day in this unit, it's, it's, it's lovely. So we'll go back in and um, give you a tour of this, the rest of this unit. So we'll go upstairs. It's in really nice condition. They've done, done a nice job. They've redone all the trim and doors, which not all of the units do that. And I just think it adds so much um, to the look. So you've got blinds for that window over there. And uh, this is a king size bed. And they've got an owner's closet over here as well. So, you know, just a nice big room. And then part of the lock off is this bedroom here can be locked off and this can be used as a one bedroom. Um, and then, or as a two bedroom. So here is the first bathroom. It goes with the front of the house downstairs and then this first bedroom. So that's in really nice shape, nice remodel. And then this would be what we would call the master if you rented this out as a two bedroom. So you've got this bathroom is here as well. Both have tubs. And um, then let me come back over here. And this is a, you know, these are big rooms. So another closet over there. And then another owner's closet. Wow, I haven't seen that. That's interesting. So that's pretty cool. And, um, you know, nice, big, you know, two queens. So you can sleep two, four, six, eight. The, the couch is probably a, um, a sleeper. So we can have some views down Valley, actually. If I gave you a little close up there. So this is, um, this is the second bedroom here. Now the other two bedrooms uh, that are across the hall are gonna be very similar to this. Now, so it looks like they have a closet behind that wall there, which is great. I wonder how big it is. All right, so that is the two bedroom of this unit, which I wanna say they might be going for 900,000. And so, you know, you're getting quite a deal on the other two because they can just be reserved as hotel rooms. The dues are 2000 a month. That's because you've got four units. But let me go over and show you. Well, 
What I will find out is if these have different deeds or if they're all wrapped in one. So you have a communal door here. So then these two could be, you know, opened together. But these really do act like this has a pocket door here. Um, but they do act like hotel rooms. There's no kitchen in them. And they did, you know, pretty much the same remodel. Um, and and th this is a conference center. So these rooms get rented a lot. But you've got two full queens here as well with another closet. They've re redone the trim and doors. Oh, okay. So they they this is the closet you had up on um, the other unit, but they just halved it and made an owner's closet in the back, which I think is really smart. So yeah, so that's this one. And I think the other one, I'm going to go in, they, someone had just checked out. So it's not clean, but I'll just give you a view. So it's really just a mirror image of the other one. So again, the two queens. And this one has your typical closet. So yeah. That is the quote-unquote four-bedroom, sleeping tons of people, um, not a huge kitchen for both units. So there's the exit down to the garage and the stairs, and I'm going to walk through the building uh, and just video it for you so that you can kind of see what the amenities look like. They have everything. They have... Um, indoor outdoor pool they've got multiple hot tubs there's a spa in this building and i think a hot tub in this building as well i'm not going to go find it um you know they've got uh multiple restaurants a general store all sorts of things a big huge game room for the kids so it's it's pretty neat um and i will uh do that right now i'll just do part of it i'll probably just go to the pool area okay